if the 25 is loose, it is crossing your working length. That means the apical foramen is wider. So then you may have to shift to another uh, pack of K3XF of 30, 30 size, which is 3005, 3006, and so on. If you are dealing with a central incisor, which is also to start with has 40 apical foramen size, then you may have to use another pack. But in your practice, 75 to 80 percent of the cases will be solved with this G pack. And very rarely you will require bigger sizes. If at all you require, keep a pack of 30 size with you. Okay, so now in your kit, you have K files. These are extremely flexible files. Wherever you are uh, shaping the canal, always, always use lubricant as an EDTA gel. Never uh, shape the canal dry. It has to be followed with copious irrigation with sodium hypochlorite. Warm, if you can use warm, nothing like it, because warm will double the efficiency of the tissue dissolution. Okay? So once you are done with apical gauging, your irrigation protocol, what is the next step? Observation. Right? So how will you select your master code? Now for example, you are finished with 2506. What master phone will you use for this? <coughs> 25, 06. What if it doesn't go to working length? And it will happen. Not once, always. <coughs> it's advisable to use one taper smaller GP. So if your preparation is 25, 06, you can either use 5 taper GP or 4 taper GP. And customize that to your 25 tip by cutting it. Cybron has a very good uh, device. Uh, you don't have that device. GP I cutter? Yet not. Yet not. They have a GP cutter device like a GP gauge. You put a master cone in that 25 slot and just turn it off. You will get a 25 tip uh, GP master cone whether it is 4% or 5%. And then it becomes your customized 2505. And when you use one taper smaller, it is called a linear resistance cord because most of the GP, the two-third of the root will be covered by your master cord. So very less amount of lateral condensation you will have to do. Right? Any questions about selecting master cord? Here. Now, you can, uh, there are uh, different sealers available. Uh, you have uh, seal apex, you have pulp canal sealer, and extended working time. Pulp canal sealer, extended working time. Seal apex has calcium hydroxide in it. But uh, frankly speaking, I, I, I will not use any sealer which has calcium hydroxide. Pulp canal sealer is an excellent sealer. It is original Burkitt's uh, formula of zinc oxide eugenol. This is not like our zinc oxide eugenol which we mix in the clinic. Because that has a lot of free eugenol in it. If you use that, there will be a lot of discomfort to the patient. Plus it is soluble in oral uh, tissue fluids. So pulp canal sealer, extended working time. Which is, you get extended working time to work on. It doesn't set so fast. It has got excellent consistency. How do you coat the sealer? You want to carry it to the canal. You use some lentilus pyrants. Everybody use lentilus pyrants? Throw them off. Seriously, because? Air bubbles. Air bubbles. The design of lentilus spiral is such that it will push the sealer very up. The most simple way of coating the sealer is 
coordinate with your master. Condensation is later. First is your just take take the uh, mix the sealer. The selected master foam is to be coat it with the sealer and put it in the canal. Once you put it, just do anti-rotational movement, not to pump, just do counterclockwise movements one, once or twice. Remove it. If the entire GP is coated with sealer, that is enough. If there are some voids, take or lelo. That is the way you coat the sealer. Because you don't want to flood the canal with sealer. And lentilios will do that. So no lentilios pass. <coughs> Have you heard of uh, liquid EDTA, 17%? When do you use it? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I missed the sequence. I should have told you before the obturation. But 17% aqueous EDTA is, will remove all the smear layer in the canal after your preparation is done. Because sodium hypochlorite doesn't remove the smear layer. So once the preparation is over, you have selected the master cone. Just put few drops of 17% aqueous CPD in the canal and let it be there for one minute. By watch, set a watch for one minute. Because one minute is a long time when it is with the patient. That will remove all the smear layer. Once the smear layer is removed, you will wonder and you will be surprised to see in your obturation X-ray that your lateral canals are getting filled. Okay. Because when, when you don't use this, there is a smear layer which is on there on the Pardon. canal walls. So your sealer cannot go and check. So that is why you don't see any lateral canals filled. So this is a must in a practice. Just one minute before These are the available sizes uh, for CP itself. We are going to use today's 25 series. So you have 30 series also. So I think uh, I will show you the demo and then everybody do it. Because it is more of doing than rather than me talking to you. And any questions, anytime, come up and ask. Shall we do the demo now? Okay, now uh, this is uh, this is a Cybron Endo. This is a cordless uh, Cybron Endo motor, uh, which has uh, pro which is programmable, and you will be using it at uh, 500 RPM. There is a torque setting also, and here is the switch for on and off. Now the only now the only advantage of using this motor is this is the way you put it. You are working for a lower tooth. Now if you are if you want to work for an upper tooth, you can fix it this way. You can put it it in any angle you want. So this is ergonomically designed. And if once you have that corded motor, the cord comes here, it is entangled everywhere. And when you're trying to work at the upper tooth, you have to hold the end piece like this. So here, you just have to change the position of the head according to your convenience. It is 360 degrees fitting. That's the advantage. And this is a charging unit for that. <coughs> okay, so we are going to work on this block. Zoom. Okay, can. Uh, you can see on the block it is uh, considerably curved 
इट इज नॉट अ स्ट्रेट कैनल ऑलवेज यूज एन ईडीटी जेल The first file to go in the canal is uh, your 10 number K file. Coat it with some EDTA gel and place it in the canal. Now look at the way I am entering into the canal. I am not pushing the file. I am just going watch winding. Since this is a block, there is not going to be any resistance to my file. Okay. But whenever you want to negotiate, just follow this watch winding motion. Go counterclockwise in, clockwise pull. Hmm? So you will have to learn how to hold the file because you hold it like this. You cannot do anything. Else. but push pull so hold it like this so that it is easier for you to go counter clockwise when you feel resistance slide 30 degrees clockwise and pull so you are only cutting on your pull stroke you are not pushing file in yes counter clockwise you advance clockwise you engage and pull is your cut so this goes Ten number. This is my say estimated working length. How much? Eighteen. Next, after ten number, you will have to take. 15 number k file which will <coughs> achieve a reproduction of the glide path 10 number will give you initial glide path 15 number will confirm that glide path so while using 15 also you are not supposed to push the file again same same motion go in counter clockwise pull okay so you reach the working length there there are not going to be any uh, interferences here since it is a block and this time we are not using the dc gel yes every time every time you put the instrument coat it with edt gel now when you are doing crown down it is advisable to take 20 number also but to 1 mm short of your 10 and 15 vent so if 10 and 15 vent up to 18, 18 for example in this block but in real tooth it may not exceed 12 or 15 with the same motion again now i am getting some resistance in the block but i am not going to push i am engaging and cutting once this is done now is the time to give a coronal flare <coughs> so first file to be used is 25 12 right which will not cross more than 8 mm because you are going to only pre enlarge the coronal one third so this is 25 12 at 500 rpm always take a rest when you are working with rotary files because you can get a pulling sensation at the moment you go in you feel resistance come out never push Feel the resistance come out. Now you can. Let's go zoom. Karo. Now you can see the fluids getting loaded with the debris. Clear. Karo. Yes. Arey arey. Go back. Go back. Go back. 
एनीवेज़ आफ्टर एवरी स्ट्रोक यू क्लीन दिस फ्लूट्स 